It's getting cold out there, which means it's time to turn on the heat. But I'm done dealing with my old 1970s thermostat. It's so clunky to use that I just leave it at one temperature and it's not efficient at all. I want to upgrade to the latest Google Nest Learning Gen 4, but I only have a two wire system. Is it enough to get it installed properly? Let's find out. The Google Nest Learning Thermostat for the gen comes in a sleek looking black box. When you open it, you are greeted with the stars of the show, the beautiful glass thermostat and one sensor. You also get a wiring base, a wall plate cover, a metal bracket, which is optional to install if it's by an electrical panel and screws to mount on the wall. First off, I suggest visiting the Google Nest Thermostat Compatibility website. Here, you can check if your existing system will work. On a two-wire system, you will select R and W or RH and W1. And after answering these questions, you're going to be able to see that you're compatible with Nest Learning third generation, fourth generation, which is the one that I'm showing you today, and the Nest Thermostat E. The red cable provides power and the white cable sends the signal to your furnace or boiler to turn on that zone. Start by taking a picture of your existing setup in case you need to revert back. I checked with a multimeter how much juice the red cable was pumping and it was giving me a steady 27 volts which is in range of the 20 to 30 volts that the Nest requires. Also, take a picture of the QR code on the back of the unit, which you're going to need later on to add it to your Google Home. I proceeded to my basement to shut off the power to my oil boiler. I checked again for electricity and confirmed there was no more power. You don't need to install the metal bracket, but I like it since you can mount the housing to the bracket. I got it leveled and centered to the cables and used three screws to attach it to the wall. You then can use the white cover together with the wiring housing and the two metal screws to mount it. It even brings a little level to get it just right. For the cables, you put the white cable under W1 and the red one under RH. The red cable will give power to the nest and the white cable sends signal to turn the heat on or off whether you have natural gas, oil, propane, or whatever you use. Adding it to the Google Home is easy. Just add a new device, matter enabled device, or if you scroll down, you'll see thermostat. Scan the QR code on the back of the unit. Set up your language. Choose Fahrenheit or Celsius. Review the cables that it's detecting and confirm this is how you physically connected them. Choose your heating fuel source. For me, it's oil along with radiators. Connect it to your home Wi-Fi network. Choose a location like living room. Choose any schedules that you want and you're all set. Adding the sensor is very easy. I chose to install it next to my couch on the opposite side of where the thermostat is, since this side is colder because it's near sliding glass door and windows. You use one screw, it brings a battery already, and you simply add it to your Google Home application. In here, I choose both my Nest and this sensor to be selected. It's then gonna take the average of the two temperatures to maintain your desired temperature. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. I remember sitting on the couch and it would feel cool, but yet my thermostat would say it's 70 degrees. But that was because where I'm sitting, it was 68 degrees or 67, and it wasn't taking that into account. With that sensor, it now solves that problem. Now, this thing looks just super sexy and beautiful with its dark glass and colorful bright display. 
With near sight, the screen turns off when no one is around and when someone approaches, it turns back on. You can also adjust what's displayed with Farsight. There's temperature, weather, a digital clock. And as of November 1st, 2025, Google just added new faces, which include Nest Classic, temperature control, minimal, and the best one, seasonal. The seasonal one shows a beautiful, colorful display that changes by a month. Just October 31st or yesterday, it had a pumpkin and the next day or today it changed to leaves, which matches perfectly for the season. For schedules, I have set two different temperatures depending on the time of the day. When I go to sleep from 10 p.m. until 6 a.m., I set my temperature to 68 degrees. And when I wake up at 7, I change it to 70 degrees for comfort. And this is pretty cool because when I, I'm ready to get up from bed, I don't want it freezing like I do when I'm heading to bed. And this is amazing to me because before, I wouldn't even bother changing the temperature since it was a ton of work to change it. I can now change the temperature from my phone and there is just no beating this feature. Of course, there's a ton more features with this thermostat, but on this video, I wanted to mainly focus on my installation experience and whether you can install it on your two wire system. If you like this product and this video helped you out, give it a like so it can spread to other people. I'm also gonna leave affiliate links in the description that helps the channel to keep going. I appreciate every single one of you. Until next time, Ultratech out.